Hey guys, Harv here and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. This is the test pilot for the whatever the date is today. This is the series in which we take viewer submitted ships, test them out, and hopefully take and hopefully make some improvements to them. However, that's not gonna happen today because we have a plane here and it is absolutely joyous to fly. <laughs> it is one of the most I, I don't know how to explain it. We take off the parking brake. It's such, it's so good, so good. It lifts off really nicely and it's just absolute, utter fine control. Really beautiful, actually. <laughs> I have to say, this is the best plane I have actually ever flown. And sure, there are, there are ones that probably perform better, but in terms of, if, if we just look, look. Look how nice it looks as well. It is absolutely wonderful. Barrel roll, no problem. It's absolutely stable. If you leave it, hands off the controls, it will automatically tip upwards. Now, if I have any criticisms of it whatsoever, the tipping upwards bit kind of, I don't know, it tips upwards quite a lot. Wait, let me, let me demonstrate. Okay, so here and hands off the keyboard. It's actually not that bad, I suppose. You know what? It's a safety feature, in my mind, really. Really, really is. This plane, this fighter jet, is made by Fiend Slayer PC. Thank you very much for the submission. Fiend Slayer actually has a YouTube channel, if you'd like to go and take a look at it. He does a variety of different games, and the Kerbal Space Program ones are high quality and stuff like that. Um... And yeah, he's, <laughs> if, you know, Fiendslayer, you should just carry on making planes, really. And it's your, absolutely your forte. Ha <laughs> ha. Absolutely amazing. I'm actually quite speechless. It's really, really, really good. Uh, I tried to connect my Xbox controller and that had mixed results. I mean, for analog input, obviously having a joystick is great, but the problem I was having is that because I'm using an emulator to connect it, if it was the tower, using a joy to key, which basically I can turn the analog input of the joysticks into a digital character input, so the computer actually thinks that I'm st well, the game actually thinks I'm still pressing Q and E. I am now. I'm not using a joystick at the moment because the problem I was having was that because it was thinking I was pressing Q or E, it was there was no way to change how strong it would happen. If you put it literally all the way to the end, it would be the same as pressing the button down. Which is, I mean, you know, it doesn't look so bad, but it can make piloting hard. But that's, um, th I think even with a controller, uh, even with just the keyboard, this flies perfectly well. <laughs> really, really good. If you'd like to download this ship, then the link is, of course, in the description. And my, my, my. I do recommend it. I don't think I would dare change anything about this, you know? This is the test pilot, literally, as in the test pilot who's not an engineer, just the person who gets to fly these awesome jets. See if we can go as close to the ground as possible. Now some of you may be wondering why I'm performing so well. Uh, I've actually taken some advice, and I thought I already had done this, and I've put my render quality down to fastest. Oh god, look at that speed. Don't crash, don't crash. Wow. Bloody hell. Haha. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ah, uh, first crash. Damn it, I was trying to show off. Yeah, I've put render quality down to fastest, so obviously it doesn't look as good. But it's still... Oh god, it still looks pretty good, doesn't it? Uh, there you go, guys. That's all I'm going to have for you today. Fairly short episode, fairly short indeed. Um, actually, no, there is one thing we need to feature about this ship, which I haven't actually tested out yet. And it's got an escape system. 
and I don't really know how it works. You can see Sepatrons on the side and the parachute on top. And I, what I read on the forum suggested that you've got to be above 100 kilometers per second. 100, 100 kilometers per second, Christ. 100 meters per second before you can use it. So, what we're going to do is stay pretty low, just get some speed up. And then we are going to steadily climb, steadily climb, steadily climb, and backflip. Loop to loop. And down towards the ground. And eject. Okay. <laughs> right, I didn't actually remember to pilot that, so we'll try that again. <laughs> Work close enough, it worked close enough. Come on, let's try that again. And let the physics engine actually kick in. There we go. All up to max. Actually, no, I'm going to stay just on the. See how long we can stay on the runway as well. God, putting the render setting down is absolutely amazing because I just haven't been able to use aircraft. Because. I've always had it on beautiful render setting. Never realised that setting even existed in the game until now. Okay, bringing the plane up. Look, look, look at this. Look, look. Actually, how far can the camera tilt back? I'm not entirely sure. Can it go 360? Let's find out. No, it can't go 360. <laughs> Straight down towards the ground. Okay, and eject. Nice, and parachute. Very nice. That's actually surprisingly stable, you know. I am actually very surprised at that. Oh, there goes our plane. Wherever it disappeared to. And the parachute works completely fine. There it is. That <laughs> that's a really good escape system. It's very good. I'm sure it's not luck, but it's good how it drops underneath the plane, because obviously the plane has that natural uh, desire to tilt upwards, which means that you know it flies out of the way. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna buzz the tower once more, try and get really low to the ground, and then we shall call this on this and make our conclusions if there are actually any conclusions to be made, other than it's freaking awesome. It's really, really amazing. <laughs> right. Just surveying the area. This would be great. This would be a really great ship to, um... There's like weapon mods and things you can get. It'd be awesome just to set up some targets around the Kerbal Space Center. Like, say we were targeting space plane hangar. Oh, okay, I fail. Bang! Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> oh, God. Absolutely stellar. Even though I don't use that word, I think it's... I think I'm entitled to for this. Absolutely stellar. Even though my piloting is actually tr oh, that wasn't too bad. I was going to say atrocious, but, you know. I think I'm just enjoying having the FPS. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, yeah. Very nice. <laughs> such freedom, such freedom. I absolutely love it. Yeah. <laughs> That was me sneezing. Okay, I'm tired. I want to go watch Russell Howard's Good News. And that is it for this video. Thank you extremely much for what ex Extremely much? Thank you an awful lot for watching. If you'd like to submit a ship into the test pilot series, and I am looking forward to seeing more aircraft, certainly. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, man, I'm looking forward to seeing more aircraft. Certainly, definitely more aircraft. 
If you'd like to submit a ship or indeed a plane into the test pilot series, there is info in the description on how to do that. The email you need to send me an attached file to is via hockgaming at live.co.uk. That's hockgaming at live.co.uk. Other than that, I've got nothing else to really say. Um, there's some videos over on IIG. Infinity Ink Gaming, which is the channel I keep on mentioning. Actually, you may have seen on this channel, uh, if you go on my channel page, not necessarily right now, but for a long time and quite often in the future, I will be featuring videos that I've recorded and posted over on IIG. Coming in for a slightly unorthodox landing. Landing on the wing, yeah, of course. Man, the control is amazing. Ugh, absolutely incredible. That is that is the best plane I have ever flown. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Uh, absolutely wonderful.